Good morning, everyone. Ross here from RC Welding. I just want to say hello to everybody and show you guys my new tool I just purchased. You're not going to believe the price I paid for this thing. Uh, but I'm here today getting some railings done, like this railing behind me. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, for a customer of mine, uh, so I, I decided I'd come in and also shoot this video of this machine I just picked up. So look at the size of this beast I just picked up. It's a variable speed drill, heavy duty. I just had it wired up. It's a 220 15 amp uh, breaker. I just had put in for this particular drill. You don't even have to change the belts on it. You literally just turn it on. Here's the dial. And you could crank up your RPMs. Thing sounds like a Learjet. It even has reverse. I can figure that one out. There we go. I just got this thing yesterday, so I'm still uh, I'm still learning, but it, it weighs a ton. I can't believe how big this thing is. It's taller than me. Give you an idea. Check this out. So to give you an idea. I'm about maybe five four, five five in height. So this thing's probably five ten, five eleven. I absolutely love this machine. Are you guys ready to hear how much I paid for it? Okay, here it goes. $250. I got this machine. I acquired it from somebody that I work with, a builder I work with, uh, who really cares a lot about what we do. And uh, it makes my life a lot easier. So he decided he was going to get rid of it. He does blacksmithing on the side. But uh, he decided he was going to sell it. And... Uh, he wanted to sell it to uh, to me. He, he didn't want to put it online and uh, he didn't want to play games. He just said, this is what I'm looking for. And uh, if you want it, I'm going to give it to you. So I bought it off of him. So there you have it, guys. Buying used tools can sometimes save you tons, thousands of dollars. So if you guys are starting a welding shop, buy your tools used. Test them. Make sure they're good. Make sure they come from a good company. They've been well taken care of and then make your offer. But you could save hundreds of thousands of dollars by doing it this way. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this Sears Craftsman for that new one I got. I paid $350 for this drill. Uh, it has a light, it has variable speed, but you have to change the belts on it. It served me well, I've had it for about a year. The uh, the adjuster for the table broke, I need to re-weld that back on. Uh, I don't know how they had it on, but uh, in my case, it broke off on me while I was trying to lower the table. So I, I've got it held on this way. But uh, yeah, guys, this is, the, this is how I do it here at my welding shop. I buy as many tools as I can use. Sometimes I buy uh, new, like my chop saw over here or some of my welding machines. But this machine as well was $1,000 with a TIG setup. I got my cables, welding cables, and I got a crap load of uh, welding uh, cables for stick welding hanging up on my rack as well that was included with this machine. So remember what I said, try to buy your tools as many as you can use to start your company. It'll save you thousands of dollars. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I gotta get back to work. Just wanted to say hi to you all and uh, enjoy your day. Stay safe. Take care now. Oh, please, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Take care for now. Ciao.